you doing? <laughs> yeah, remember me. Package. Um, one of two. The reason there's two, one of them's yeah, a bit worse for wear. The other one looks fine, which I think this is the other one, which looks fine. Looks fine. Don't know if it works. So what I'm going to do is test this. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'm going to try and repair it. And then... Um, Next door. Um, what was I saying? I'm going to try and repair it. It is clean. A little clean, not major. Because the other one comes in a box. It's boxed. But it's trashed. So we'll put this into that box. Repair this if it needs it, if it doesn't. But I'm going to recap it anyway. Put it in the other box and flog that. And then with the other one, which is naff, I'm not going to retrobite or anything because the keys are all different colours and it won't retrobite. They're all in the same tone. It'll come out multicolored anyway. So I'm going to do something with that one. This one I'm just going to get going, make sure everything's fine, recap it, flog it, boxed with everything, games and everything. The other one, I'm keeping it for myself. Well, tell I decide to flog that as well. <laughs> and weirdly, this one was the last one I ordered. And the other one, I ordered two days before and it hasn't turned up yet. But it might turn up today. <laughs> yeah, it's well, that's one way of packaging it. Data set. So you know where it is. It's a 64C. And I could have had the, could have got a bread bin, but. I've done what I wanted to do with a bread bin when I did the uh, Golden 64. The ultimate. Which I still miss now, but <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh, sunlight. Yeah, it's not bad, Nick. Need to clean. But other than that, it's not yellowed or anything. It might be mildly yellow, but I don't... Yeah, get it out of the sunlight. No, actually, it's not yellowed. Not that bad at all. Just needs a good clean. Yeah, it's just grubby. Oh. Well, that's a first. <laughs> I'm see the um, Omega 500 Plus is still sealed. I don't think I've ever seen a 64C sealed. <laughs> I think it looks fine, there's no cracks or anything. Oh. Where's the feet missing? No, no, 64 seat and yeah, 64 seat only has two feet though. Two rubber feet. One there, one there. The others are just uh, dimples. So. Yeah. Right, well, before I start this, I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and wait for that sun to clear off because it's blinding me. Yeah. So for you, a couple of seconds for me, probably a couple of hours. Yeah. So, just got a power brick out, a working power brick, some games, video lead. Set it all up, turn the camera on, knock on the door. Puzzle Force! We will get this package to you! Parcel force. You just found out. <laughs> yeah, so package number two. Um could disconnect it all now. So we ain't finding out if this is working. Not yet, no we actually we should really, shouldn't we? I said yeah. Well um I've got it all out so we might as well test it. Um I won't bother with the tape. We've got light. Yay! Yeah, works. Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> well, I'm buggered. <laughs> yeah. I'm pulling off eBay, what works. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, so um, I'm only gonna catch a 22 now. It's never been opened. Uh, and it works. Well, obviously. Uh, do we open it? Break the seal, open it, and recap it when there's no need to because it works. Uh, or do I just leave it sealed? Because this is going up for sale, this one. With it being sealed, it'd probably get me another extra hundred quid, wouldn't it? About that. Ish. No, probably won't. But yeah. And I can clean it without opening it, but that's only cleaning the outside. That's not really restoring anything. Not that it needs restoring, but if you're going to restore something, don't just clean it on the outside. Yeah. You've got to open it up and clean the inside and recap it or whatever if it needs recapping. Don't recap it if it doesn't. It's pointless. So I can't really call it refurbished if I don't open it. Him is gone all fluffy. Yeah. Um, bugger. <laughs> um, no, I won't open it. I won't open it. I'll let the other person decide that. Yeah, I'll clean it from the outside. I won't pour it. It's been restored because I'm not restoring it. I'm just cleaning it. Yeah. Right. So let's disconnect that. Um, put that to one side. <coughs> oh, jeez. Ah. Yeah. If it's. <laughs> yeah. um, um. Right. Let me open it on the floor because I can't open it up here. <coughs> right. Box isn't too. The outer box is not too bad condition. Um, well, apart from somebody wrapped it a long time ago with tape here. But there's only this bit which is ripped off, which she's had the sense to put inside with it. I say she because it was a she, I think. Well, uh, it had a girl's name, so could have been a bloke, especially this day and age. Yeah, so it's only this bit which I can probably repair that in with PVA glue. We'll repair that back onto there. So I won't pin that. Crease there, I can sort out. But yeah, um, right, hang on, I've got to get back on the floor again. Yeah, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I've got how bloody heavy these things are when they're in the original box. Right, so there's quite a few bits what come with it. Boxed data set. This is Andy. Ah, uh, oh. I've already got this over there. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Mouse cheese. Cheese mouse. Well, actually, um, I have. Yeah. Mouse cheese. I've really got tape for it. I've had that ages. I came with one of the uh, bread bins. I thought it was a game at first. I didn't even think about Mouse, yes, yeah, there's it's the exact same one. Exact yeah. same. Yeah. I thought it was a game, I thought oh, I've never heard of a game called Cheese. Oh. Well, that's handy, so we'll put that in there for now. I won't mash about with that, not yet. I'm sure, the um. This one, the one will come at the end. Commodore 64. The Commodore 64 one, I'm sure it just looked like, a bit like the Amiga 500 one. I'm sure it did. I don't think it had fancy colored buttons. Did that? Yeah, I'm sure it just saw colored buttons, didn't I? Yeah, blue buttons. Yeah. I think Commodore did their own, didn't he? Yeah, so this is a third party. I think. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it is. Go on there, buy Atari. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, it was. Yeah, action pack. Kung Fu Master, Top Gun, Jack the Nipper, or Vida Zane Monty. <laughs> or Vida Zane. I haven't. 
Oh, Cascade. Uh, a cheap, nasty Aruga. A cheap, nasty game. One of those uh, 199 games that you get from WH Smiths. With your pocket money. Dragon's Lair. Mm. Definitely got that. Oh, I've got that as well. Why is everybody buying the same bloody games? Some instructions off some game. Uh, Kickstart. Oh, I used to love that on Specky. Yeah, a bit dirty. Well, all of them are a bit dirty, but what to expect? Yeah. Four Quattro. I used to buy these all the time, these. Four pack games, because they were a lot cheaper to buy like that. Uh, oh, <laughs> Pitman typing skills. <laughs> nope. Super cycle. Super cycle. Hmm. Ah, there. Azimuth. That's what I was thinking of just then when I saw that uh, data cassette. Azimuth. Um, the liner software. I had it ages ago. Yeah, going back about six, seven years ago. And I used to just play with Spectrums. And, um, yeah, I lost it. I could never find a copy for it. And this is a copy for, you used to have for a Spectrum version. This one's for um, Commodore's. 64s and 1 to 8 and I think it does 16. It doesn't say it on here. This is a 64 1 to 8. Does it do 16s? I can't remember. Well, obviously not because it, it would have said. I'm sure it did. But anyway, yeah. Very valuable tool. A valuable tool. What's this? Oh, sorry, I just whistled down the mic. No. Oh. Attack of the Mutant Camels. <laughs> Basil the Bond. Herbert Dummy Rum. Jeff Capes Strongman. Yeah, Jeff Capes. Yeah, oh, right, that's him. Um, now for the uh, Feast of Resistance. <laughs> the ugly thing. Oh, cool. <laughs> Wide. So, hence why the camera's just flown across the screen. The inner case, but the inner box, quite immaculate. There's a tiny little bit just there. So again, I can fix that one. I can fix that one. Um, PVA glue. Tommy's just gone off for some random reason. <laughs> again. But yeah, oh, it is immaculate. <laughs> it's not something you see very often. See if I can keep it immaculate. Yeah. Um, where's the common knot? Yeah. And there. Ooh. That's not the camera. That's really the colour of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's minging. Yeah. See what I mean? So if I'd have done a retro bite on these, all these keys, these would always be different colours to these, always. Even though I've got them all the same colour, these will fade really quick, these really dark ones. So it'll never be the same colour. And it's the same on here, this is all the same. So over this side it's really brown and dark, and that side's quite light. I'll show you in comparison. There you go, night and day. That's what it should look like. I mean, look at them. <laughs> they should be them. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not bothered about this one. So this will come out. This is going back in the box. But the power packs are dodgy colour. But I need to test the power pack as well before I plug that into anything. Because the power pack I've got is tested perfectly working, I know that. Because I've tested it. I've got a couple, but one's a bit iffy. So, But that one will definitely need testing. But in the meantime, let's, um, let's test this one. Is it? Let's see. Oh, look. 
feel not broken another one what are the chances of that <laughs> like buses you don't see them forever and then two come along at once how convinced this has been opened and messed with I don't know why I just felt that it had but um, let's move all this because you're cramping me style games let's get video in um, pleasure bets mm, is this off yep. let's see what this beast is going to do we've got power light two for two but I'm buggered <laughs> this feels a lot heavier than that other one why does it feel so heavy it really does feel heavier than that one I don't know what that was then. Yeah, yeah don't know what that was. Um, hopefully don't do it again. I don't want that going on and off. Let's try and tape deck on it. Dragon's Lair. <laughs> yeah. I used to love this game. There's a new sad one. Just amazed me when I was a kid, the graphics. You probably can't see it's blurry because it's focusing on some. It's focusing on my handsome face. Right, um, reset that. Play. I'm not going to see it with you as well. It's loading. It's going to take ages. It's dragging the lot. But we'll wait to see the um, found if it comes up. <laughs> two for two. Mm. Get used to that. Dragon's yeah. life works. Yeah. Right, we'll come back when it's loaded. Load screen. <laughs> yeah, set tape counter to zero. Okay. Oh, I ain't playing it. <laughs> I ain't got a joystick. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. Um, but yeah, we're not playing it. Yeah. So that's what I've picked up from eBay. Um, yeah. Uh, bugger. So I'm going to open this no matter what. I know it's sealed, but uh, it is where it is. Plus, I need it opened because. Got plans for this. In our favor compared to that. I don't remember it being. And this is lighter than this one. Cool, yeah. Why is that so heavy? This is light. Well, you, you know how heavy Commodore Caesar. Yeah, 64 Caesar. Same thing. But that's really heavy for some reason. 
Yeah. Well, tune in next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave you there. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, in the next video, I'm going to clean that up. I'm not going to open it. So I've decided I'm not opening it at all. There's nothing wrong with it, so it's pointless. So I'm going to clean that up. Uh, clean some of the gains up and get everything in this box. Well, fix the box as well. Well, it's only a little fix, but fix the box as well. Get it all looking newish. And then that can go on eBay uh, as a, a sealed unit. Uh, Macular condition, almost. Well, Macular condition on the outside. I don't know what the inside's like. Uh, I'm going to have to get that program. Where's that alignment program? Get that alignment program and then check the alignments before. Well, clean it first, the data set, and check the alignments on it. Yeah, make sure everything's fine with it before I package it back in the box, the other one. And then that can go on eBay at some point. And then this one. Yeah, we'll put it this way, it's not going to stay that colour. Because... Oh, boy. So, in my um, cleaning up, I've been doing in here, cleaning out all the bits and bobs and stuff. I found two Amiga. Um, oh, have I just snapped that? Oh, have I? Oh, no, I haven't. Because this is, yeah, all right. I found two Amiga um, floppy drives. <sighs> don't know where they've come from. <laughs> I found other bits and bobs as well. Oh, spare keyboard. This is off a. Um, Go 16. This was that case what I used for um Don 64. This is off of it. Broken key. It's the stem in there that broke off. I've been meaning to um 3D print a new stem and everything so I can put the key back on. I've saved the key, the key's there. Well these fit in these, I think. But obviously the sets on these, on the fonts and everything, slightly different. See, there's, there's a, on here, you've got escape up here. There's no escape on the C64. It's back key, or oh, back arrow. There's a, where is it? Yeah, the cursor keys are up here on the top, on the plus four, eh, plus four. Coming on 16. And on the 64C, it's just two keys. You hold down the shift to operate up or let go, operate down, so on. So yeah, these don't work on these. But when I took this out of the C16 keyboard, the 64 from the bread bin keyboard fitted it. See where I'm going here. So I'm going to have a look on eBay, see if I can find the black keys. Well, not black, the dark brown, really dark brown keys from a uh, bread bin 64. Buy one. They're only about 20 quid on eBay, I think. And that's going in here. And this is getting a spray job because yeah, I'm not retrobiting it. It's pointless. I know somebody's like, oh, you should retrobite it and put it back to its original condition. I didn't buy it for that. I had no intention of doing that. That's why I bought the other one. So I can put the other one back in the box, make it all new, put it, well, new ish, put it back in the box, and then sell that back on as better condition than this one. Retrobiting this, I know from experience, because you know I've done stacks of retrobiting. From experience, there's no point. If the keys are completely different colours, forget it. You ain't going to do it. They will always be different colours. And you'll get some people say, oh yeah, but I used this and I used that and it worked. It don't work, shut up. It don't work, trust me, I've done them all. So that's getting replaced. Case is getting sprayed. And I don't know if I can do it on this. Well, I'm not going to carry on anyway. I'm not going to tell you what else I'm going to do, but some other stuff. So anyway, yeah. So that keyboard is the same pattern as that keyboard. It's just the keys are in different layouts, so to speak. But the bread bin is the same layout as the C16, yeah, C64C. <coughs> so I'm going to order one of them as well, eventually. 
But I'm going to get rid of that one first. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to upset some people, but so should have bought it then, shouldn't you? Yeah. Anyway, see you in the next one. Cheers.